Next ball game, it is going to be Navy taking on SMU. 7.30 Friday night, and of course, that's October 14th, 2022. SMU's minus 13 and a half, totals 56. Now, the Mustangs have some serious problems on defense. Not only did they lose their last three straight, they allowed 34 points or more in all of those losses. The Mustangs are currently 106th in the country in rush defense. They're facing a Navy squad who gains over 230 yards a game on the ground. And they're going to run it 90% of the time. Meanwhile, defensively, the midshipmen are allowing just 21 points a game. And they're led by Jacob Busick, who has four sacks and a couple of forced fumbles from that defensive line. Now, total-wise, Navy did see two out of, their, out of uh, their last four get over the number. Meanwhile, SMU saw their contest a few weeks ago against TCU fly over the total. I'm going to lean toward Navy plus 13 and a half uh, over 56. Next ball game, it is going to be Utza taking on FIU 8 o'clock Friday night. Now, Texas San Antonio is minus 32 on the road, total 63 and a half. But the, uh, as good as the roadrunners of Utza have been on offense, this is a mighty big number to be laying uh, with their shaky D. These guys are in the bottom 20 in total yards allowed. They've also had a real tough time defending the pass. They're taking an, uh, they're facing a uh, Florida international team here today, or not today, but on Friday, who's uh, pretty bad themselves, but they are throwing it for 225 yards a game. So they can move the football, not incredibly efficiently, but they do have the ability to throw it. Now, total-wise, three out of the Panthers' last four ball games fell under the number. Meanwhile, Utz's most recent outing against Western Kentucky fell under the total as well. I'm going to lean toward Florida International, plus 32, keeping this one close, under 63 and a half.